Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today partnering with Figma to demonstrate sections, a wonderful Fig Jam feature that allows teachers to give each student their own dedicated space. So for example, here I have, where does Napoleon belong on the political spectrum? And I've given five students in this Fig Jam a place where they can collaborate. Now let's pretend that I'm the student sixth and I haven't been given a section. So watch, I'll create my own. So we go to section or press shift and S. We drop our section where we want it. And we have a few things that we can do even before we add content. We can resize, we can change the color, we can get rid of the name or add the name back in. And we can make it hidden or not hidden. And that's very, very valuable for teachers. I'll show you that in a second. So here I'll add something about the Concordat. Let me, and I'll add something about the Napoleonic code and I'll add something about Napoleon's coronation. And once I'm in here, I can zoom into the section and I can add text and basically anything else I can add to a fig jam. But once I do that, I can choose the selection and I can move it and all of its components move with it. So let me show you a couple other applications that teachers can use with this. So let's say it's the end of the year, we're teaching US 2 and what we can do is we can go section by section and play the which president game. So if I unveil this and we say, which president is this? Diplomatic relations with China, detente with the Soviet Union, the SALT I Treaty, Vietnamization, the Watergate scandal, and now we know that that's Nixon. A student gives me that and we go on. And so who is this president? Three R's of the New Deal, attack on Pearl Harbor, Francis Perkins, determined Japanese Americans. And then the students would tell me, well, that's FDR and so on and so forth. We can also lead students through something by unveiling things such as the water cycle here. So I, by the way, have locked this image in place. I love locking images in place in Fig Jams. But we say, hey, you know, water can get from water on the ground or water in rivers in the ocean and into the air, up into the clouds, and we call that evaporation. But it also goes from plants up into the clouds, and we call that transpiration. And sometimes we have water coming down from clouds through the form of rain or snow, and we call that precipitation and so on and so forth. So that is sections in Fig Jams, a wonderful tool for giving students a place to work, leading students on learning journeys and so much more. I wanna thank my partner Figma and shout out Commons by Figma for Education, a two day virtual event, August 16th and 17th. Register for free by going to commonsbyfigma.splashthat.com. I'll put the link in the description. Get verified for your free EDU account at figma.com slash education. And if you want to try sections in a Fig Jam, type figjam.new into your browser to start right now. If you have any questions about sections and Fig Jams, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.